Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie, if you are new here. I do all kinds of lifestyle vlogs, talk about living with chronic illness, working for myself, and those types of things. So if you're interested in vlog content, definitely subscribe down below. But today, I'm actually gonna do a video that I was planning to do and then it was requested. So I know that some of y'all want to hear this and it's like what my goals are for 2022, my vision board for 2022, why my 2021 vision board didn't work. <laughs> so kind of just like a, a relaxed, chill 2022 reset. I'm gonna show you a little bit of my vision board that I created in Canva. If you're interested in hearing about my plans for 2022, then let's head into it. Okay, so I really enjoy making goals and setting a vision board, kind of setting a word for the year. I've always enjoyed that stuff, but I'll be honest, 2021, which I've talked to you guys about a lot, was one of the hardest years of my life. And I'm not trying to be dramatic, it just was a hard year for me. Absolutely not one of my goals came true and I felt like it was a really rough year for me, but I am feeling very hopeful and excited for 2022. So I still wanted to kind of put together some goals that maybe weren't as specific, a vision board that was a little bit more focused in on how I felt versus goals to attain. And then, um, yeah, things like that. So I'll kind of take you through quickly what my goals are. My first goal is to lose weight. For me, I want to lose weight to feel better and to feel less heavy. My weight has caused a lot of issues on my body, whether it is joint pain or not feeling beautiful, not feeling confident, those kinds of things, but it's also caused like internal not feeling well. Like I said, there's some joint pain, some back pain. Um, I feel very out of shape, very, like it's hard for me to go on long walks when it's really humid here. I can't breathe. It's like a whole thing. So I know that a lot of that is because I'm carrying way too much weight for my body frame. But instead of just saying like, I wanna lose 50 pounds, I'm saying like, I want to lose weight and start to feel healthy in my body again. My second goal kind of goes with that, which is to move in some way every day or as much as possible if I can. I've, it's already like, what, January 13th. I have not moved every day because there have been days where I wasn't feeling well, I had a migraine, trying to just move in general more, whether that's go for a walk, I have a stationary bike at home, so even just sitting on the bike while I'm watching TV, things like that. Another one that goes with the losing weight one is eating more foods that make me feel good and cut out the ones that don't. So instead of being like, I'm gonna eat this many calories, I'm gonna do this, this, and this, I'm like, okay, I wanna eat more of what makes me feel good and eat less of what makes me feel bad. So for example, I kind of got into like a habit of drinking soda. It does not make me feel good. It tastes good, but it does not make me feel good. So I'm trying to cut that out, which I haven't had any this month, which is really good for me. I'm trying to add in more vegetables. I'm still leaving out most meat because the few times I've had meat, I haven't felt great. So I'm trying to kind of cut that out. So that's like what I'm doing with that. And I really think with more movement, and eating food that makes me feel better, with that some weight will come off. Another one that goes within that as well is drinking more water. I have been, my goal in January has been to drink three of these 32 ounce bottles and I have been doing it every single day. I'm actually behind today. This is my first bottle and it's like one o'clock so I need to get going on that. For one of my bottles, I'll put like electrolytes in it and then the rest of the time I just try to drink as much water as I possibly can. And I've noticed, I feel like my skin isn't as dry. I feel like some of my puffiness has gone away, which I really attribute to drinking more water because you're just like flushing stuff out. So that has been really helpful for me. It's a really annoying thing. I hate it when people tell you to drink more water, but honestly, it's helpful. <laughs> so that's been another thing for me. Another goal for me is to stay consistent with therapy. While I think that physical health is very important, I also think that a lot of my physical health issues can be connected to my mental health issues. 2021 was a really hard year for me and mentally I just couldn't, I couldn't. <laughs> 
do anything and that's why my 2021 vision board never came true and a lot of my goals didn't come true because I, I was having a hard time getting off the couch. I was dealing with minor depression. I was dealing with extreme anxiety. For me, it just was a year, apparently a full year that I needed to give myself that space. And now I've been being consistent with therapy. I've been going almost every week and it's expensive, but it's worth it. And I'm doing somatic therapy and cognitive behavioral therapy or something, polyvagal therapy. I have the book down here. And I actually have therapy in an hour. So another one is to fall in love with fitness again. I used to love working out. It's actually how Ben and I met. We both were in the fitness space and I loved working out. I loved lifting heavy. I loved feeling strong. I loved the community I made at the gym that I worked at and I want to get back into that. And it's specifically to love fitness again. It's not to work out three times a week. It is to find ways to do fitness in a way that reminds me how much I loved it because I truly it was one of my biggest, if not my biggest hobbies and I really want to get back into feeling that way. Finish writing a book. I have a book started. I have another book idea percolating in my brain and I want to write those books. Even if I don't publish them, I just want to write them. I just want to write the story, get it out of my head and feel really proud of that. I've always loved to write and I, it's something that I want to continue to do. And then going along with that, which kind of gets me in the mood to write is reading again as much as possible. For me, putting straight goals on things. I'm trying not to do that as much this year. I do have a goal in my Goodreads account. If you have a Goodreads, I'll link mine down below so you can follow me on there, but is to read 50 books this year, which for me should be pretty easy because I read pretty quickly. So I just, I want to hit that, which just means that I have to consistently keep reading. I think it's like four or five books a month, which for me shouldn't be too difficult currently in my life. And then the last two aren't necessarily fully in my hands, but they are something that I want to do. First, this goes along with all the health goals that I made before, but I want to feel healthy enough to get pregnant again. That doesn't necessarily mean I have to be pregnant, although I would love to be, but I want to feel healthier in my body before that is something that comes up. Healthier financially, healthier mentally, and healthier physically. All of those other goals kind of feed into that one where I'll feel better going into pregnancy. I'm also having some like progesterone levels tested and we're kind of working through some other levels that came back a little bit off just to continue moving forward because we would like to have a family or like continue growing our family. We have a family right now, but like, you know, grow our family in the next couple years. And the last one that's not fully in my control, my consistency will help it, is that I really want to grow this YouTube channel. I want to consistently post at least twice a week, if not more, when I can. And with that, I'm hoping my editing skills, my camera skills, my community will just grow based on my creativity kind of coming out in my videos. My goal is like 6,000, but we'll see if that happens or not. Now, let's move into my vision board. But you should be able to see my screen here and I'm just showing you a little bit of what I made in Canva. So what I did was I went to Canva and I just looked for the size of a desktop wallpaper template. And from there, I got this blank little screen that looked like this. And what I did was I just kind of thought about things that I wanted to look at. So I went on Pinterest and I went and searched that I wanted to show on my vision board. So for example, I knew that I wanted to put some stuff in there about like bank account balance goals, um, money in bank account. I wanted to do, I think I looked up like um, happiness quotes, things like that. So that's kind of where this stuff came from. So I'll kind of show you what that looked like. Let's go back here. So also what I did this year, which I've never done before, is I put pictures of myself on my vision board, pictures of myself that made me feel good, that I felt like I felt good or looked vibrant in. So for example, I have this picture of me when I was a little girl because that's just like the cutest thing and it's a reminder to um, take care of my inner child, to care about myself and to take care of that little girl that's living inside of me that just needs to be loved, you know? Um, I put this picture over here of Ben and I, of our engagement photos. I think that we both look 
really happy there and it's something that I want our relationship to continue to feel like. So um, I put a picture of that. I have this picture down here because I just look bright and vibrant and happy in this picture. So I really wanted to put that one. This one in the middle here, um, I was in really good shape and we were having a wonderful time in California. So I wanted to put that one in there to show like me feeling and looking healthy. And then this one over here too is just a picture of me that I've always loved because I'm smiling really big. I look really happy. And um, those are all the things that I want to bring for myself this year is happiness and vibrancy and healthiness. So over here, like I have the word happiness. I think that like my two words for 2022 are happiness and transform. So I think having happiness on here is just a reminder that like you can create your own happiness. So that is what I put on there. I have this little quote up here that says, let it hurt, then let it go. It's a good reminder for me for therapy and for just taking care of myself in general. This photo here is a picture of Asheville. I would like to spend some time in Asheville and in the mountains a little bit more this year if we can financially. Ben and I have always been curious if we would like to live closer to the mountains and we really like Asheville. So, um, so yeah, I just put that on there as a way to remind myself to get into the mountains and to um you know see what i see what i like over there i have this quote here and one day the girl with the books became the woman writing them because i've always been a reader i've always wanted to be a writer so it's just another good cute quote to remind myself to write and that i love to write this quote is actually, I also have as my phone background. It says, and somehow after everything, she still bloomed in the way she was meant to. And I put that there because I had a really hard year last year. I think the last two years, but in particular, 2021 was really hard. And I've been feeling a lot of hope this year and a lot of excitement and happiness. And hope is the big one for this year. And this quote just really reminds me that I'm allowed to feel hopeful and that, um, and there's a reason to feel hopeful. This quote over here, I really like quotes. So I have a lot of quotes in here, but I have visualize your highest self and start showing up as her. Just a reminder to get back into my woo woo side, to really take care of that side of me and to listen to my intuition and things like that. So, and then this last one is my income is constantly increasing and I am wealthy beyond my wildest dreams. Just an affirmation for me to remember that financial abundance and financial, financial abundance is coming and financial stress is going away. And I know that that is true and reminding myself with this cute, um, sweet affirmation I think is really helpful for me. And this, not last thing, but this last part that I wanna show you over here, I do have a positive pregnancy test. I don't intend on, we don't intend on trying to get pregnant for a couple more months until I'm feeling a little bit healthier and we're feeling a little bit more financially stable. So, um, but I would love to see another positive pregnancy test in 2022. That is my hope and that I can be healthy and vibrant enough to feel that way. Then what I do is I have Ally. I was gonna use like some random picture from, from Pinterest, but like I was showing you with these pictures of myself is that I wanted it to be something that I actually believed. So I took a picture of my actual <laughs> bank account and I just, you can kind of see the, the color difference there, but I put like a little box. Um, I actually, this should be moved up. It doesn't look too great, but we'll just ignore that for now and I put $25,000 and that total balance includes my savings and my income and I just, I wanted something that felt like a lot but also didn't feel unattainable, like a hundred grand. Um, I'm no, there's no way we're gonna go from like extreme debt to having a hundred grand in our, well, I guess there is a way, but that seems less attainable to me than something like 25,000, which is still a lot of money, but it just seems like something that could come up for us. But I wanted to use my actual like bank statement. Like this is what I see when I look, open my Ally bank account. So yeah, and then I did the same thing down here for my subscribers. So I just took a little screenshot of my actual subscriber account, which I think is like 
507 people right now. And then I added, um, I whited, or I took like a little white box in Canva, covered it up, and then added in 6,023. I basically, I want to have around 6,000 people subscribed by the end of the year, if not more, but 6,000 would be like spectacular. It's just like a random number that came to my mind. And then 23 is my favorite number. So instead of it just being like 6,000 across the board, I added 23. So I did all that in Canva, which I've made a video on how to make a uh, vision board in Canva before. So I can link that down below. But basically then what you can do, you can resize it to fit on your phone if you want. And then, um, you can download it, you can print it, you can have Canva print it for you. I just printed mine from our printer and like hung it up and then I have it as my background on my computer here. Oh, wow, okay, I have a lot of things open. So background on my computer here, let's just delete these. And um, yeah, so I moved things around a little bit for this one in particular so that you could see everything, but I can, look at this every single day and it's just a good reminder of you know what's coming for me so that is what my vision board is for this year the reason I kind of explained before that I feel like my vision board didn't work in 2021 is I think that my vision board was just like not attainable I had very specific things that I wanted on there there were a few things like self-care and feminine and things like that but last year was just a hard year for me. And I think sometimes we hope and pray that we're going to like be able to do all these things. And sometimes we just can't and that's okay. And initially I felt really sad about the fact that none of my goals came true in 2021. But at the same time, for me, 2021 was just about surviving. Um, it wasn't necessarily about thriving, so just surviving mentally, surviving our relationships, surviving financially, surviving. Sorry, there's a plane going by if you can hear that. There's like never planes over here, which is strange. It just didn't work and sometimes that's okay. And sometimes your vision boards won't work that year. But I think for me, having specifically having pictures of myself, I think is really helpful because I remember feeling that way and feeling happy and vibrant and healthy and in love and excited and all of these things. And I want to continue or to bring those feelings back up. So this is a great way to see this. I like that it's like pastel and it's bright and it's pretty. Yeah, it just reminds me of the things that I want in my life. So those are my goals for 2022. That is my vision board for 2022. If you have any questions or would like to see anything else down below, let me know. I'm thinking of doing some sort of like monthly reset video so you guys can kind of see where I'm at monthly with my goals, how I'm feeling. We are going to start incorporating back in some budget videos, which I I've told you guys once Ben gets a job and our income kind of comes back to normal because right now it would just be very confusing I promise that's something that I think I'll include in that whenever that comes that's where we're at thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I hope that you enjoyed this video give it a like if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next video